Welcome to this short tutorial on how to blur in Camtasia 2023. There are two ways that you can blur in 2023. The first method is to go up to annotations, click on that, and we see that if we go across to where there's a little teardrop, click on that, we have a blur effect. We also have a spotlight, a highlight, and a pixelate. We click on the blur effect, you see there's a little star there that's so you can add it to favorites. Anyway, we take that, bring it down on top of our timeline. And now we have the blur box. Now, keep in mind one thing you wanted to make sure you do is click on the center of the box or where the X is to move it around. And then you take the handles on the side and you can tighten up your view around the person you're trying to blur or object you're trying to blur. If we look over to the right, we see that we have our properties and we can adjust different things in the properties over here. But if we go to the next tab on the properties, it shows just the blur. So we can take that and we can make it less blurry or we can make it very blurry. Or we can click on return and we can also click on the invert, which is really handy because it blurs everything and allows us to focus on our person and we see if our box is the right size. Take the invert off and that's how you do the first blur in Camtasia 2023. The second blur in Camtasia 2023, we'll get rid of this, by the way, this box. The second way is to go up to the visual effects panel, click on that and we have a blur effect. Take the blur effect, we drag it down to the timeline, and we see our little diamond right here. That means the effect's been added, and it leaves us a box. Once again, same thing. You wanna make sure you click in the middle if you're gonna move it around on the X. Otherwise, we just take this and down here. Oops, you see how that moves. So we wanna do Control Z, and Make sure we're not moving the background at all. And that's how you do the second blur, which is an effect. If we go over on the right hand side, we see that we have more items than we did on the other one. We have the blur, which by the way, will blur more than the other one. It will actually take a clear up to a solid. You see right here, it's now a solid. We'll go back to where we were. We have a color where we can go different colors, like red, for example. And we'll go back to our white. We can take the, the opacity of that color and make it solid. Or we can go back to where we were. We also can change it from a rectangle to an oval, which we just did there. And one way you can see this is when we go to the invert, you can see our oval. Take the invert off. Well, but let's leave the invert on for a second. The other thing we can do is we can feather. Now let's say you want to add another blur. Well, let's first of all remove our invert. So right now we have one blur. Say we want to blur out this man right here. What do we do? Well, surprisingly enough, you cannot take the blur effects and add it twice in a timeline. It doesn't work. So what you have to do is go back to the old way, the annotation, select it, go back to the old blur that was prior to 2023, and we can bring it down and drag it because it goes on top, not inside of the timeline. We can now add our second blur. We can move it over towards our second gentleman say right here i'm not going to adjust it and now we have two blurs one two we can actually add a third one a fourth one whatever how many ever you want by simply continually drag this down and i'll add another blur 
Now what we have here is a video. So when we hit play, we see our man moves out of the blur. What do we do? Well, we simply add an animation effect. So we click up on animation, go up to custom animation, drag it down, add it into our track, the one where he's that he's on. And you can also add it, you could, you could have added it to the track that above that the other blur was on. So this works the same in both ways. We bring our playhead back to the start. Then we start playing. Our man walks out. All we do is simply select the blur, move it down. And now if we go back and play it, we can see that our man stays in the blur. So every time he moves out of the blur, simply move the blur down and it will automatically, well, let's do it twice. Let's show you how it works here. So he's gonna come out of it a second time. And all we do is come down and add it a second time. And you see down here where it's added the animation to that. So now we can go back to this the first and we go through the one animation and the second one. So these are the two blur effects in Camtasia 2023. If you want a more detailed explanation, I also have another video which is longer and has five other ways that you can use blur in your videos. And if you'd like to see that video, it's on the link down below. I'm an affiliate of Camtasia. If you'd like to buy Camtasia, please use my link to my affiliate link below in the comments section. Thank you for watching.